Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Many a True Nerd, and welcome back to Deadly Premonition. And after finishing off the lumber mill last time, I think we've actually finally got a bit of a chance to go and have a bit of an open explore of the town. Because I haven't actually got anything to do until 3pm uh, tomorrow afternoon when the community will all gather together. So until that happens, the game's basically told me just like go and get some rest or something. So instead, oh well, I probably will do that at some point. But while I'm doing that, I can actually, while I'm heading back to town, I can try and see if I can find anything else worth doing. See if I can do anything else. So that is good. But no, no, pick up the thing. Pick up the, oh for good, okay fine. Apparently my car is too close to the flower, so I can't pick it up. Okay, fine. Back off. Get out of the car. Why is the car teleported to where the flower is again? What is happening? No. I'm trying to get the car away from the flower. Move the car well away from the flower. Okay? Now get out of the car. Okay, now this time... Finally, I get to pick a flower. There's something very mesmerizing about it. I wonder what it's called. I'll take one with me and ask someone later. You got the flower with no name. Excellent. Well, that was totally worth getting, wasn't it? Now, I'm pretty sure if I just drive along this road, I should get back into town pretty quick. Let's take the train tracks back into town. I feel like that's more interesting than following the road. The road is boring. I'm just going to follow the train tracks in instead. Yes, this seems perfectly sensible. Oh, good. The game hasn't even put impenetrable barriers here. You are allowed to just smash your way through. That's good. You even get honour. You even get honour for driving on the train tracks. That's beautiful. And here we are at long last back in town. Now. Here's something interesting. What can I do in town? Well, the game was just saying before, everything shuts up shop when it's raining because no one goes outside when it's raining because of the old superstition of the man who kills people when it's raining, which would, you know, keep you inside, I would imagine, if you actually believed that. Now, but there are a few things on the map. Like, there's this, uh, there's a bar here. It looks like there's a bar on the map. So I'm just going to... That was totally your fault. I'm the police. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's see if we can find this bar. This definitely looks like a thing that exists. Bar is closed, however. Can I do nothing? Is there nothing I can do to get in? Oh, I can peek inside, though. This is interesting. There's a bar here, but no one in it. Now, one interesting thing I've seen on my map is I've seen a couple of houses that are actually pointed out on the map and a couple of people that are actually marked as suspects, which I'm quite interested in, seeing if I can find some of these guys, if some of these people are actually supposed to be suspects. Let's see if I can find any. Turn left at the end of the street and the map is saying there's a suspect nearby. Oh, sorry. Who's the suspect? Right. Round the, the next turn right, there should be a suspect somewhere around here. Suspect! What? Who? Who and where? Who and where? Excuse me. Get out of the car. Oh, oi, oi. I hope you're not trying to escape through like a circular gate because I'm not sure York's a sharp enough cookie to be able to figure out how to go for a one of them. Here that you want to check out? We need to be at the yes, look. Someone who's labelled as a flipping suspect. Open. It's, going it's locked. Fun. I need a key. Do I now? Do I really? I've got the best key of all. Or not. Right, peek in. Peek and see if we can find this guy. I just saw someone go in here. Where is he? Not here. Okay, that bastard may have got away from us by hiding behind a locked door. But over here, we've got a house that's... How can a house be closed? I'm the police. I don't just flipping say, oh, you know what, it's late. I won't bother interviewing the suspects. Open her mailbox, yeah. 10 millimeter bullets. I will, I will take the 10 millimeter bullets. Quite frankly, I'd say she's more suspicious by virtue of the fact that she's apparently got 10 millimeter bullets just in her house. Now, who is this person? We're going in. Call. Call for them. That's not calling. You didn't even bother knocking. That's not, we know she's home. We know she's at home right now. Spy on her. 
peek into this woman's house. This is what the FBI should be doing. Very well. Bedroom has a bed in it. The story checks out. Can I really not even go into the police station? Can I just not go into the police station? I work here. I've got a key. I, 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 this is where I work. This is unfortunate. I was kind of planning to sleep here because I kind of can't remember the way back to my hotel. I'm not actually sure what the peaking is for, but I kind of like it and I, I hope it's going to become a thing later. You're going to be able to peek into houses to learn something. You just climb in. Just climb in and just find yourself a nice cosy cell down below. Oh, it's moments like these that make me wish I was back in the insane lumber mill. There were beds there. Right, I'm just taking this police car. I'm taking this police car to get around faster. Also, it'll probably have been fueled up. There we go. Full fuel. Excellent. Aha! I found a farm. A farm that's got a bed in it. Okay, good. There might be something like a barn I can sleep in there. I, now I've found a good barn to sleep in. We're sorted. Oh, God, it's the 80s movies again. Is this what we've actually got to? We've now got York talking about films he hasn't actually seen. Aha, yes, a small outhouse that I can just rest in. Perfect. I'll just sleep in this outhouse. It will be fine. Uh, let's see, what time is it now? I want to do a 10 o'clock. If I do a really long sleep, yeah, if I get to 12 hours, so 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, let's do a long sleep. Make sure everyone's... Actually, let's just do deep sleep. Deep sleep will be fine. Though my hunger will probably be quite high by the time I get up, so I'll need to eat some... Oh, blimey! <laughs> Reach for the sun. Reach for... Oh, eat some food. I'd better get something to eat, he says. Yes, I know. You're probably at the point of dying, in fact. Eat a turkey sandwich. Oh, yes. That took... Oh, my goodness, yes. Perfect. Perfect. And eat a can of pickles as well. There we are. I think we're fine. Turkey sandwich, can of pickles. That is... That is the breakfast of champions right the hell there. Now, now that it's day, can I go up to this house and see what's going on in the house? No, because I can't get up this step. Because I am the best at policemen. No, that is actually the only door. And I cannot approach it. Ooh, but there's a horse over there. Oh, please. Please, let me abandon, let me abandon the car and just ride the horse. Let me just ride the horse. Come on. Come on. I want Actually, how good is the horse animated? How good is this horse? That's not a bad horse. I've seen worse. Can I shoot the horse? Yes, you can. But there's no penalty. The horse just runs away. The horse is actually fine with it. Horse, you just stay there. I'm not saying that... <laughs> That's a tough horse. This horse, my... Oh, yeah. I think my car just took more damage from the horse there. My car, they, they breed them. They breed horses sturdy in these parts. Excellent news. Oh, dear. No, I don't want to hear about more 80s bloody films. Thank you. Actually, could I have just cut through this one? No, this is invincible. Um, this is invincible fencing, which happens more than you'd expect, potentially. Now, let's see, now that we're at 7am, whether anything's actually open or not. Closed for the minute, unfortunately. Ah, oh, come on, we need to find something that's open. Who's Lily Ingram? Oh, wait, is that the mother of the twins? They were both Ingram. Oh, okay, so that symbol, that symbol means, uh, yeah, that symbol means there's a playing card. Okay, that's fine. Well, while I'm waiting for the town to wake up, here's a random path. See if there's anything good going on up here. Money? Money's always welcome. Right, as apparently nothing opens in this town at a reasonable hour, I've just kind of had another little sleep to take me to 20 past 10, so I really bloody hope the town's decided it wants to bother opening by this point. Aha! The turkey shop diner is open! Now let's see who's in here and if we can buy some food. Okay, so how do these places work? Can I speak to anyone? There are a lot of flies in here. Uh, is anyone can be spoken to? No, you can just be observed. There's a save point in here. I'm guessing, aha, a suspect. You. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And Would you like her to call a York by the- Oh my goodness, you didn't do the thing. Olivia Cormack. Olivia Cormack, Nick's wife. Who's Nick? We don't know. We haven't met him yet. Now that's a lovely name. Do you think so? 
You're the only one who's ever said that other than my father and Nick. Oh, it's a very good name. Married woman, York. There's that famous singer, too, isn't there? From the 70s? She's actually from England, but she's got this really strong image of being an American pop singer. Huh? That's it. Olivia Newton-John. You know of her, right? She's not only a successful singer, she's successful as an actress, too. I'm regretting starting this conversation already. Sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Really? I feel very sympathetic with this woman. Okay. Maybe if I nod, he'll leave and not kill me. Do you know anything about Anna that might be helpful to me? Oh, she was a bright and lovely girl. I can't believe she... Did she ever look worried or anxious? No, not really. I'm never going to see her again, am I? Well, oh, you're welcome to go to the mall, but to be honest, it's not a pretty sight. Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. I'm the FBI. Yes, yeah, I can. Get the hell out of here. I'm going to say he's the prime suspect now. Get, get, okay, get out of the way. I'm about to shoot your chef. Oh, dear. Look who's puppeting over there. Uh, okay, you can just make them do the robot. Oh, wait, hang on. The flies are circling around me because I haven't had a shower in a couple of days, aren't they? Oh dear. I should probably go and find somewhere to have a shower at my convenience, shouldn't I? Yes. You, mysteriously pale person. Just one of the regular patrons not involved in the case, I figure. Oh, so you've decided that the... The people who frequent the diner aren't suspects. The people who work there must be. Intriguing. Now, let's go and find some other suspects, because there's uh, those houses that I was passing by. They'll probably all be open now, too, so we'll be in much better shape. I keep seeing the little um, the little checkered flags, which I understand mean that there is uh, racing minigames. With the handling of cars in this game, I'm not even bloody trying those. You could not pay me real world money to make me do that. The town's kind of weirdly divided in two with kind of a bit of greenery between the two halves. But if I've read this correctly, if I head over to the other side of town at this point, there's a fair few people who are listed as suspects that I can introduce myself to. So we've got a petrol station coming up here on the left. Sorry, a gas station for the benefit of American viewers. So there's two suspects in there is my understanding. So we should be able to, well, one, get some gas. Yep, so let's just get some gas. Ah, people are going to come out. Oh, bikers. Bikers with strangely robotic walks. I really need to have a shower to get rid of the flies. You from out of town? I ain't seen you here before. Jack the Raging Bull, gasoline stand owner. I'm investigating the death of Anna Graham. Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious individuals? I ain't got nothing to tell the cops. What about the FBI? Shut up. So he doesn't talk with customers. Well, that's fine. Um, I will indeed buy. I do need some gasoline, potentially. Ooh, we can bribe Jack to get some things. All right, well, let's... We don't need the car to be washed. We could do with some... We could do with some fuel. There we go. And let's also bribe Jack for some uh, information. We've got loads of money. Why not? Jack, here's the Ben Franklin you wanted. Give it to me. Oh, so for a thousand dollars, he'll give us something really big. Okay, we can do that. Hey there, Benjamin. I wanted to talk to you. Have you heard this yet? Have you got a dart gun? Richard's ready to give the guy who beats his top score something really tasty. So I think, yeah, if you just give him enough money, he'll actually give you quite, he'll give you some good information. All right, I may as well kind of go for all of this. It was as if we weren't here. I wonder what that was all about. Did it make sense to you? Well, you bribed him and then he read some information out that was useful to you while pretending he was talking to the money. It was a play acting thing because you gave him money. So, and incidentally, you can just pick up some of that money straight back here. Beautiful. All right, what else have we got in town? What else is here? We have got, ooh, a gun shop, I think. Now that's something I need. I've got loads of money and the combat's annoying. So a good gun shop could be just the thing. Is that open? Oh, it's closed. Is it actually a gun shop or is it just a range? Well, if it's closed at 10.40 in the morning, when the hell is it open? 
It's just, uh, I think it's just a range anyway, to be honest, rather than an actual gun shop. So that's annoying. Right, something here called the Milk Bar. Another two suspects we need to meet up with. This is open at least. So the Milk Barn, which mysteriously has a giant guitar. That's unusual. Right, you, suspect, tell me things. And you are? Lily Ingram. My husband owns the convenience store, and we have two sons. Yes, I met them. They seem utterly mad. Oh, sorry, Lily Ingram, Keith's wife. I like to Again, haven't met Keith yet. You seem pretty calm considering their involvement in such a big murder case. <laughs> you think so? I'm glad to hear that. Anyway, if I looked all bleak and gloomy, I think it would hurt our business. You call me York if you can. People have been calling me York for a long time. You're a silly one. No, not at all. I'm just a regular special agent. <laughs> Stop flirting with the married women, Cole. And the other guy? Are you Keith? So, you're the talk of the town. Keith Ingram, mad stereo ice man. <laughs> what the hell? The name's Keith. A pleasure meeting you, York. Sure oh, God, what's wrong with his character model? It would be. So, Keith, <laughs> it's like a, a puppet that's gone mad. Poor little Anna. She was such a oh, serious time has suddenly kicked in. You got my cooperation, FBI. No, oh, there he goes. There goes the mad insane robo puppet. What the hell? Okay, can I can I actually buy things from you? So what have we got? Oh, we actually can we can actually have weapons. That's kind of useful. Weapons, milk, cigarettes, uh, sugar donuts. Wait, what's that? Cheddar cheese. Small amount of hunger. Um, bait. A normal worm costs hundred and twenty dollars. Right, interesting. A standard fishing rod. Oh yeah, we'll get a fishing rod. We haven't gone fishing yet. We may as well get a fishing rod here. I hope that doesn't actually take away a weapon slot. It'd be really annoying if it did. I guess I'll pay $120 for some bait. Just so I can go fishing. Oh, I like the look of this though. Though this shovel costs $370, it does have yeah medium durability and high strength, which is quite cool. And I can get another golf club too, because golf clubs were cool. And a special spiritual map of Greenvale. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't have much else to spend money on. Hey, man. The spot on the map is called Cope's Tunnel. It's one of a couple of places in town where, like, spooky stuff happens. I'll tell you a story, okay, man? Could you give me the extremely brief version? That tunnel was the main connection from the lumberyard to this town. Every day, huge trailers would, like, come in and out. Lots of traffic, dude. Of course, some people were, like, all up in arms. Save our nature, stop pollution, you know. Big business was pushing in here from all over the U.S. of A. Everyone was bickering over the forest. So some of the town people got even more worked up, you know. They started a protest inside the tunnel itself. Amid all this chaos, there was a man and a woman who got engaged. Problem was that the man was a lumberjack, and the woman, she was a tree hugger. They rarely ever fought, but then, one morning, they had a lover's quarrel. When he finished his work for the day, he got in his car and drove home. When he got to the tunnel, he saw lantern lights glowing faintly. Those fools, not again. He just thought they were protesting in the tunnel again. And to scare them a little, he decided to speed up. He probably thought they'd all scatter so he wouldn't hit them, but the lights didn't move. In fact, one came toward him. A second later, there was a thud, and the lantern flew up into the air. He slammed on his brakes too late, of course. Then, totally freaked, climbed out to see what had happened. I don't need to tell you who he hit, do I? What happened to the man, then? No one saw him again. Some say he killed himself, or simply just vanished. You know, he might still be in the tunnel. Weeping over his lost love. So now some folks say there's a ghost of a young man that haunts the tunnel You better be careful. Mr. FBI if you go down there by yourself <laughs> I've already driven through it by myself Okay, well that is interesting to know indeed. I might just kind of pop along there and see what happens Well as the tunnel is so close by I kind of feel like I might just want to go and quickly have a little Luxie in there see what's going on. It's now flagged on my map. I'm pretty sure if I cut this way, 
then I should cut into just before the entrance of the tunnel so I can just turn them back on myself and head in there pretty easily. Now, back into the tunnel and let's see what we can find. Can we find a ghost? There is apparently one very close. Here we go. So, yeah, this game apparently is openly supernatural. I mean, it was implied in the opening cutscene it was openly supernatural because of the white snake thing that struck me very supernatural. And I suppose the, the killer is supernatural. And now I know that some of the stuff like in my hallucinations is real. That's supernatural. But it's interesting to see that it's actively ghosts are going to be a real thing too. The famous paranormal place they talked about. Maybe I should give it a shot. Yes, I will give this a shot, whatever that means. I mean, what exactly am I going to do? Just sort of, oh, I'm going to swirl in on my own brain, I see. What? Wait, what? Hang on. What's going on here? This wasn't what I was expecting. Right, well, I've got, I've got a bar. What the heck is happening right now? Um, right, well, I've got a shovel. And I know how to use it. Right, run. That's enough shoveling for now. What's going on? Do I just have to defeat all these guys and that's something that somehow solves the problem of the the dead guy? Right, good. The shovel seems to be doing a good job. This was an excellent investment. Excellent investment. Right, take the bullets, yes. Take the bullets. If I lose a shovel but I gain some 10mm bullets, I'll probably be doing pretty well quids in after this whole situation. Um, oh, flip mind. What's this over here? What is this over here? I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing. We shouldn't go any further. Let's go somewhere else, Zach. No, let's... Let's stay together. Right, oh, is that your escape if you've decided you don't want to do this anymore? Well, that's fine. Um, let's go to the handgun. See if we can just get some people with the handgun. Oh, that's going to be difficult, mind. There's quite a few of them and they're moving pretty quick. Uh, uh, 10 millimeter. Uh, actually, you know, we can probably take out, like, a couple of them with the handgun. Run faster! Run faster away! We killed one of them, at least. Oh, well, we lost that. But we've got... What's this? Is this more ammo? Steel pipe! Yes, yes, yes! Steel pipe is always welcome. When you've got a few of them and they're all... Cause you've kind of got all of their attention. A steel pipe is great. Uh, steel pipe, steel pipe, steel pipe, steel pipe. Here we are. They're all grouped together. They're all grouped together. Next. Go on, a little bit further forward. There you go. <laughs> oh, dear. First aid kit, sure. And just a little bit close up. There we go. I think you seem pretty dead to me. You can't keep this item any... Oh, for goodness sake, I'm stuck in a... That wasn't fair! That was not fair! I was... I couldn't move because the text is so slow to be read. That's so cheating. Screw you. Screw you, game. Oh, and I still can't draw a flipping weapon. What the hell? I was stuck in that damn text menu and I couldn't do anything to flipping save myself. Can we not... Oh, can... oh is it this door over here that's the next area? Do we just need to fight for an area to kind of solve the ghost thing? Yeah, that, that was made very unclear. Can I just blow up that barrel, by the way? Yes, I can. Right, well, that sort of worked pretty well, I think. Now, just quickly... Uh, no, 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 reload it. Reload it. Reload it. Reload the gun. It's Resident Evil 4. You're not allowed to reload unless you're pointing it, which is kind of weird. Uh, right, pick up the bullets. Yep, top up the ammo. Okay, now everyone should be nice and filtered into here. Who's... Okay, if we take out you, you're kind of on your own. Okay, you're dead. 10 millimeter bullets. I can't... Oh, God, no, I'm, now I'm stuck. Now I'm stuck in the ridiculously slow thing. This is the worst thing. Why was that not playtested? Why did nobody spot during playtesting that if you get stuck in a flipping screen, it doesn't pause the game? So the enemy just keep coming for you anyway. I'm going to be honest, I find it a little insincere that the problem we're trying to solve here is once upon a time, there was a murder, or rather, well, yeah, I mean, they said it, oh, it's a tragic accident. A man who sees protesters in a tunnel and accelerates his car at them to, to scare them, and then as a result hits one of them and they die. That's not a tragic accident. That's a murder. That is him 
murdering them. But no, apparently we, we need to solve this, this tragic case of Romeo and Juliet, except in a world where Romeo just decided to ram Juliet with a car. I mean, yeah, Romeo and Juliet would work less well if Romeo was just driving around like a dick shooting people. And then it just turned out accidentally he just kind of shot Juliet by mistake. Oh dear, tragic error. So now am I done? No, let's let's stay together. Let's stay together. Because I don't wanna I don't just wanna leave. I want to solve the mystery. Well, I keep finding different I, I keep finding different people. I mean, I don't know whether like the, the things that I'm finding are right or not, but I, I keep going backwards and forwards and the rooms keep changing. So I'm in a weird world where you, you double back on yourself and the room has changed from what it once was. I'll tell you what the best thing to do would be just lead them into the explosive barrels. That would be way more efficient. Uh, yeah. That didn't get either of them. Brilliant. Well done, me. Right, well now I've got an ice axe, so I'm feeling much better about myself. Now how long does this go on for? Because you've no flipping clue how long this goes on for. It could just keep going on forever. But the, the rooms do keep changing, because that's a different room to the one I was in a second ago. But I am clearly going from different room to different room. Do these ones have explosive barrels in them at all? Uh, yes, actually, okay, so in this case, the sensible thing I could do would be, if I can, to lead all of them to the barrels over there. Yep. Oh, he's got a shotgun! He's one of the ones with a flipping magic shotgun hate those guys. Right, you. All of you over here. Okay, now. All of you back here, please. Yep. A little bit closer. Oh, this has gone stupidly wrong. They're just standing in the way. There we go. We got the explosion we were after. Finally. That was the explosion I wanted. Good. That worked better. Which one of them would drop a shotgun rather than just endless ammo I can't actually use for anything? I mean, they're definitely getting harder because this is the first one that had the, um, all the enemies with the shotguns. So I did the enemies held that had the projectile weapons this time. I mean, if I had a shotgun, that would have all been much, much easier. But I didn't, so, you know. Right, back, back through the door to where I came to an entirely unre- I have no idea why this is happening. Aha! Now this is a bit more interesting. What's this? <gasps> 10 millimeter submachine gun infinite. Oh yes. Oh yes. I think I will take an infinite 10 millimeter machine gun. Shut up. I'll, I will get rid of anything I have to. I'll tell you what, 10 millimeter machine gun can probably be got rid of, to be honest. Yeah, I think we'll get rid of that. Boom. Infinite 10mm machine gun, you are my new best friend. So much I'm going to sing a little song about him. You are my new best friend, Infinite. Wait, how did, how is that supposed to have just solved the problem? And it holds twice as much ammo. Oh, yes. I feel like I am never going to stop using this weapon. I feel like that didn't in any way solve the problem of... The woman who got ran over or the man who ran her over. I feel like at no point did I encounter any form of ghost or anything. I mean, I shot a lot of people in the face. But I feel like the best way to make a ghost who whose great tragic sadness was that they accidentally killed someone. I feel like going and killing a lot of people is not the best way to help that spirit be at rest. But uh, I don't know. Apparently this game thinks it Right, okay. Well, we've done that little first little submission then, and we've got ourselves a fantastic little weapon to come out of that. I think that's enough for the moment. And next time, having explored some of the town, I think we will actually go and gather the town at the meeting that we uh, agreed in the last part, and we'll actually see what happens there. But first, I think I'm going to nip back to the hotel very quickly and uh, just give myself a little bit of a shower. Because truth be told, I just don't really want flies circling me during the dramatic meeting. The dramatic meeting where I meet up with the town and talk to the entire town and if I have any sense whatsoever, ask them to put go single file into a room where we can look at their backs one by one. Um, if I've got any sense whatsoever, that will be what we do. But I strongly suspect, sadly, that will not be what we do. Instead, we give a naff little speech and come up with a clue and something, something, something. But there we are. We have solved, well, somehow we've put a ghost to rest. 
and that got me a rapid fire machine gun with infinite ammo cuz cuz that's the thing that happened in the game and it all made perfect sense and no one will ever question the logic again so yes i will pick a bit up next time and we will see what happens in that meeting that meeting uh, at the town later and what York has to say to everyone. I keep almost calling him Cole, by the way. I do actually repeatedly almost call him Cole. Uh, but we'll see what York has to... That's a tree. Uh, we'll see what York has to say uh, to the town uh, next time. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the slightly... No, slightly. Completely flipping mad uh, deadly premonition. Thank you very much. And that can't be destroyed. Goodbye! Down, 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 get off it. Just hop off. Oh, oh, oh no, oh that was wrong! I would untie and save you, you understand, but there is a hovercraft. I really hope the bear's not still around. The bear is still around! The bear's still around! The bear's still around! Good news, guys! Elephants here! Hey!